The National People's Congress Standing Committee of China has recently delved into a significant reform, proposing to gradually increase the legal retirement age. This move marks a pivotal shift in China's long-standing labor laws and comes as part of a broader strategy to address the country's rapidly aging population. Currently, China has one of the lowest retirement ages globally. Men are eligible to retire at 60, while women in white-collar jobs retire at 55, and female factory workers at just 50. This is notably lower compared to many developed countries, where the retirement age often extends beyond 65. The reform aims to incrementally extend these ages to alleviate the mounting economic strain caused by an aging population and a shrinking workforce. The proposal to delay retirement is designed to tackle the financial pressure on China's pension system, which has been under severe strain due to deficits across various provinces. According to the Ministry of Finance, out of China's 31 provincial-level administrative regions, 11 are facing budgetary shortfalls in their pension funds. Projections from the Chinese Academy of Sciences suggest that without reform, the pension system could face a significant shortfall by 2035. Extending the retirement age could provide a dual benefit. It would both delay pension payouts and reduce the fiscal burden on the state. However, the prospect of longer working years has sparked considerable debate. Many are concerned about the potential for increased job competition, as older workers stay in the workforce longer. Social media platforms have seen a surge in discussion, with concerns about younger individuals struggling to find jobs and older workers being forced to stay employed longer than they might wish. On the other hand, experts like Professor Stuart Gietel Baston from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology argue that the impact on the job market may not be as dire as feared. He suggests that the roles occupied by older workers are often different from those held by younger, entry-level employees. Thus, the contention that increasing the retirement age will directly lead to increased competition between age groups may be overstated. China's demographic trends underscore the urgency of this reform. With the average life expectancy rising from approximately 44 years in 1960 to about 78 years in 2021, and expected to exceed 80 years by 2050, the current retirement structure is increasingly untenable. Additionally, the ratio of working individuals to retirees has halved over the past decade and is projected to decline further, exacerbating the financial pressure on pension systems. The deliberations and eventual implementation of these changes are crucial steps in adapting to China's evolving demographic landscape. The legal draft for this reform is anticipated to be released for public consultation in the coming weeks, allowing for broader input on this significant policy shift. Stay subscribed for more videos.